are the first day of September 2011. And in just uh, eight and a half days, it'll be 10 years since the attacks that changed America forever. That's right, our country's been attacked many, many times, but there was never a move to abolish the entire Bill of Rights and Constitution and say that tyranny would keep us safe when everyone who studied history knows tyranny is the greatest danger in any society, in any civilization. Now, I want to go over some of the news, uh, just give you a, a brief uh, rundown on what's coming up here on the radio today and some of the guests that are coming up. And then we're going to open the phones up because I do want to take a lot of your phone calls here on the broadcast today. But some of the news we have here, jobless claims are stuck above 400,000 a month. Productivity is falling, and this is the Wall Street Journal. But remember that the government numbers they're using themselves are cooked. And so they're admitting that the economy is in a deep recession, never left the recession. Geithner has called it the greatest recession. And even though they're doing stealth QE3 and other forms of debt monetization, this country, and in fact the entire global system, is in the stranglehold of the globalists. That's what globalism is, is a financial global directorate designed to destroy sovereign nations, the family, the individual. It's all about conquering you and putting you into an artificial environment, an artificial habitat, like you're at the zoo. Artificial cultures, artificial media, artificial food, artificial information. In fact, here's just a quick example. Uh, driving in today, I was listening to local news radio, and I'm actually going to print these articles off later and get into it if I remember. But I heard two different news items uh, during the news program. And one of them was, oh my gosh, the state has passed a law saying that the school can spank your child. And then the news reporter was saying, how can this be in the news? They were playing clips of people saying parents can't spank children, but the government can. And it was wrong on so many fronts, so many facets. And sure enough, they then went into the news talk program, and the third caller gave them the Texas Penal Code that I've looked up, and it says a parent or a guardian under state law, and it's the same in every other state, can, will, and should use corporal punishment if needed to maintain safety and order. Uh, do you think schools, when I was in public school 20-something years ago, do you think they, uh, if uh, I did something wrong or was even late to class too many times, would call me into the principal's office and take out a paddle? Do you think they were doing that without there being a law? It's the penal code. But you see the news going along with the hoax that it is illegal for parents to spank their children. It is illegal for you to do serious bodily harm, break a bone, knock out a tooth. That's assault. Well, then you have to ask the question, why then, regardless of which side of this debate you're on, do you know, and it's in the news, about the tens of thousands of Child Protective Services cases every year where they take people's children, you've seen it on the news, where a woman in Target spanks her daughter who's throwing fits and breaking things, just gives her a few spats, and the police are called, she's arrested, and the child is taken. And in many cases, drug off, raped, given STDs, cries for mama, that's mental illness, put on psychotropic drugs, and the kids beg to see mommy and never see her again. And that's normally what happens. Oh, those, those spoiled brat children find out real quick. The social engineers on record, 
the American Pediatric Association, the Psychiatric Association, the Psychology Association, they all in the last 60, 70 years have come out and said, don't spank so that parents cease to be parents. And so the state can now come in and be the parent. And the children get out of control. They get into crime. They go to juvenile hall. Uh, they get baptized in corruption. And now the police taser them to keep control of them or shoot them. What do you do when a child can't be reasoned with and is three years old and keeps trying to run out the street? The third time you spank them because they don't understand the car can kill them, but they do understand that there's a bad effect when they try to turn the stove on for the third time in a row, when they try to stick a piece of metal in the light socket for the third time, when they uh, climb up on the counter for the third time and try to pull out butcher knives, as children do. When they try to go in the garage and see what's in the gasoline tank for the third time. They want to destroy law and order. So, yes, in the name of allowing spanking and corporal punishment in schools, they passed a law restricting the right of the independent school district, which I don't like government training centers, and I wouldn't put my child in them, but some people don't have a choice. And if you're going to put them in there, they've got to maintain order. But see, instead, in a few areas in Illinois and New York where they do not have corporal punishment, Dodgeball is not allowed either because it's seen as aggressive. That's where they have the shootings. That's where the teachers are getting attacked. That's where your kids are being beaten up. That's where there's absolutely no control. But then if there's a little fist fight or a scuffle or even kids shake hands, not allowed in many schools, the police are called. See, instead of being run around the track till you throw up or being given a few painful pops that don't hurt you physically but sure sting, Instead of that happening, oh, no, you're just going to go to a jail cell when you're 13 and there's 17-year-olds in there. They're going to take you in the shower and they're going to rape you and they're going to give you STDs. And that's what goes on every day. Remember the Texas Youth Commission where they were organizing gladiatory fights for the police in them, where there was STDs being spread everywhere, where they were caught selling the young children to government officials and others that would actually come to the facilities. Yeah, your child instead, because you don't want to discipline them, they're just going to get out of control. It's just like with dogs. Dog and human psychology is very similar. You don't, you don't have to really spank a puppy hard at all. It's just the newspaper. When they don't go on the newspapers you've laid down or when they don't wait to go outside... You tell them no, and you spat them with that. And it's the, it's the psychology of this is a bad thing. I need to do what you're saying. But I know I, I, I watch the, quote, trendy liberals. They're not liberals at all. What they are is people that allow themselves to be programmed and have the natural order run out of them so they can be totally controlled and society can be brought down. You'll always know liberals at a dog park with their dogs. They're out of control. They're yelling at their dog. Their dog's jumping up and down, going crazy, biting other dogs. You, you, you can't go to a movie with your children and not watch the liberals come in and just gripe at their kids and get in their face and needle them and psychologically mess with them and peck at them. And, and, and I mean, I had to leave a movie a month ago with my children because in the 10 minutes before, these people were, the, these, these, these socialists were in front of me. And I heard enough to then hear that they actually were basically socialists. And they had like this three-year-old daughter. They were totally screwing up, just needling her and telling her this and that. And, and, but you, and guaranteed they don't discipline her. These, these are mentally ill people. They've taken control of our society. They've totally wrecked it, and they love it. Now, I'm going to get into the news and your calls. It's just that to hear the... News say it's illegal for parents to spank their children. To then hear the show go live and hear the host say it. And then the third caller, right, right as I pulled in, I was sitting in the car waiting, going, Does somebody know this? He called in and he read out the penal code. In fact, I forget it. It's nine point something. Texas, uh, Texas penal code uh, on, on parent uh, spanking. And then it'll come up for you. And it says right there the parent, the guardian, whoever. Under law, under common law, if you give your child to your cousin, to your parents, 
to a school, to a church. I mean, you know, that was the old thing of if kids got doing something wrong, the whoever caught them would spank them. The police would spank them. When you got home, the parents would spank them. Well, then there's the whole thing of don't lay a hand on my child. So the police are just going to stand back when your kid's throwing a fit and taser them. And they can die of a heart attack from that. And law and order has gone out the window. And so now parents have to sign this form saying you can use corporal punishment. And I heard teachers on the air saying, look, it's the a lot of times the uneducated inner city, whites, blacks, Hispanics, whatever the case may be. It's always the trouble kids that the parents say, don't lay a hand on my child. That's just the way it is, because they're not disciplining their children either. They bought into the system. Yeah, that's a boil down of overall state laws. Abuse does not include reasonable discipline by a parent, guardian, managing, or possessory conservator if child not exposed to substantial risk of harm. Family Code Section 261.001. Yeah, that's not the one. It's in Code 9.1, I believe. Now, that's just a boil down of the states. It actually gives it right there. So here's the deal. It's another hoax. You don't have to take vaccines. It's not the law. You can spank your children. We do have the news. Ron Paul, Rick Perry is a globalist in Patriot Clothing. It's up at Infowars.com. He says um, Rick Perry is a flip-flopper and agrees uh, that it's of great concern that he was Al Gore's chief of staff in Texas, praised Hillary Clinton care in 1993, uh, and more. But mainline Republicans love to get chumped, and they, they don't know who they like better, Rick Perry or Mitt Romney. They're like, whoa, you wrote Obamacare? We like that. Wow, you're for open borders and carbon taxes too? Both of you? Man, this, is, this sounds great. And Rush Limbaugh says, you guys are the only choice? Well, we'll have to vote for one of you. Forget Ron Paul. <laughs> we love America completely collapsing. This is, this is great. So I'm going to be going over uh, those reports coming up. Uh, finishing up, though, on the uh, issue of corporal punishment. There's a continuum. Are there drunken, degenerate, thug-type people uh, who have children in their trash and beat their children and should get in trouble. Well, yes, and what happens is your family or neighbors call and the police come and your child's got a broken arm and they arrest daddy. And daddy goes to jail for a couple years for it. And then you're left with mama and grandma and the rest of them. But in around 1910 or so, depending on the state, they set up, you've got to know the roots of things. We don't just report a news story, we give you history of it. They set up a British model in the U.S. called eugenics racial hygiene. It targeted blacks, whites, everybody. Particularly whites, because they were concerned about bad genetics in the precious you know, Aryan gene pool. And Hitler wrote in, in his uh, publications that his Bible was a different American eugenicist and people like Margaret Sanger, who's praised as liberal. And she said, we've got to pose as liberals to get blacks to trust us. We're going to get kill these weeds. And I brought that up to mainline liberals, and they go, so what? Hmm. See, that's why they all tell you they want to fight racism and they want to be your friend. What they want to do is get you in an inner city, pay the mama not to have the man in the home so they can put the males in prison and go from 20% of blacks 50 years ago, about 21% having a criminal record, to 94% now and 91% illegitimacy. How'd that uh, great society do for you? But don't worry, they're moving that on to every other group of people. They've got whites from less than 5% illegitimacy to over 50 now. You're like, don't you bash single parents. I'm not bashing single parents. There's a lot of great hard work in single parents and things happen. The issue here is, is that you're four times more likely to be a drug abuser and to end up being homeless and have big problems if you're from a single parent home, you're three times more likely to end up doing hard time. I'm talking felony time in the big house. Look it up. Some numbers are even higher. The point is it isn't good. Two parents have trouble. Even if they know what they're doing controlling strong-willed children. 
And if you care about them, you'll make them work. You'll make them cook dinner. You'll make them clean the house. You'll make them plant a garden, and they'll start to enjoy it. And by the way, I haven't done a perfect job with my children. I I learned what, what all the old-timers said from experience. You, you, you let them be lazy, you start getting problems. As soon as you start getting on them, then they're a lot happier. Just like a dog. You don't train a puppy, it's going to be absolutely miserable and have a horrible life. You train it, it's going to be happier, smarter, people are going to like it. It's. I mean, I challenge you. A study should be done at dog parks. Go ask people, are you a conservative or are you a liberal? Have them mark down a note and observe them for a month when they come to the dog park. And I'm telling you, when liberals on average have animals, it, 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 it is because they're so nice... They let the dog bite your dog. They let their dog act weird. They let their dog urinate on their carpet. They let the dog run off and get run over by a car. They don't understand any basic laws of anything because they were taught to be rudderless by the social engineers. So they set up the eugenic systems, and then they sent out the social workers, and if you were poor, they just took your kids. If you made lower than a B-plus, they took your kids. That's in my film Endgame. Government newsreels admitting it and saying it's good. They would sterilize you. And so that's all it is now. Their new way to get your kids is to say your neighbor saw you spank them. And the parents are dumb and wave their rights and sign a form. You didn't commit a crime. These aren't criminal courts. I'll explain it. You know what's hard about being awake and informed? You listen to yourself and you say, that's going to be taken the wrong way. Because people are so incredibly ignorant. I'm ignorant too, but I'm trying to be informed. You know, th there's a big difference there. When I get up here and I say liberals are a bunch of gibbering moron idiots, I'm not talking about some organic farmer who sees themselves as a liberal. See, it's all these labels. Thomas Jefferson was a liberal. But a Thomas Jefferson is diametrically opposed to what a liberal is today. I'm talking about these people that are scared of snakes, scared of guns, uh, scared of the countryside, scared of cows, scared of everything. They, they, they are scared of everything but things that they shouldn't be scared of. What I'm saying is they're scared of things that they really shouldn't be that scared of. And then things that they should be scared of, they have no basic instincts of understanding no government, big powerful groups getting together. That's what can really destroy societies and kill a lot of people and enslave a lot of people and humiliate a lot of people and turn great societies into very sour societies. So I'm listening to the newscast and then I'm like, that's incredible that they just said it's against the law to spank your children. And because I knew the Texas Penal Code and it's the same, it's all off English common law is that when you give your child to someone and see it's so alien that uh, today that just 50 years ago people wouldn't bat an eyelash if the football coach gave 10 pops to their son and if the son bowed up and hit the football coach and the football coach broke his jaw. And quite frankly, back in the old days, if the, if the teenager ended up beating up the coach, everybody kind of bowed down to him. <laughs> I'm not going to tell any stories. The point is, is that we have gone from a manhood-based society to a scientific ninnying society that is not altruistic and just failing and wrong. It's designed to make us a bunch of weak jellyfish. And so under common law, when you give your child, and that's in the penal codes, go read it. In every state, when you give your child to anyone to be their guardian, they now can use reasonable force to protect that child and to order that child. And that reasonable force goes up. Child's throwing a fit, throwing things around. You can restrain them, spank them, whatever's needed. The child starts attacking people with a weapon. Now you can defend yourself. Everything that the police operate under, their rules, 
all come out of common law and citizens arrest. So when you, the parent, hand your child over to someone, you under common law are giving guardianship over that child. And that's why 200 years ago they would spank you in school. It'd actually take you outside with a big old uh, switch and bloody you if, if, if need be. Right through to when I was in high school 20 years ago, in the last few years I didn't get any pops once I moved to Austin, but I was pretty rambunctious in Dallas. And they didn't need to call my parents. They didn't need to get permission. They didn't need, because it was common law. Now, if you don't like your child being spanked don't put them in a place that does it you see you go under the common law the common sense law european ancient british law which itself came out of europe when you put your child in a school when you give your child to the ymca when you send your child on an away camp uh for basketball. But see what they've done is they've taken all authority away now, not only from the parents, and again, they haven't done this legally yet. They've done it in the minds of the people, and next they'll do it in the law. But teachers are getting attacked, stabbed, you name it, and cannot even restrain a student who's attacking another one, they will be kicked out of school. They will lose their teaching certificate. The principal can't. In many of these, quote, progressive schools, progressing the globalist dehumanization, they know what they're doing. So society breaks down, and only specialized enforcers are allowed to come in. So instead of being run around the track, instead of being swatted, what they call them getting swats or pops now the cops show up you throw a fit to them they taser you and why the system said well you might swing that baton wrong and statistically we get less lawsuits if you just send high voltage through them so the cop goes all right whatever you're still flopping around starting fights you're tasered then it sets the precedent to taser people if you talk back to the police. See, now, now they're in the wrong. So they create a power vacuum. They take it away from parents, coaches, teachers, pastors, Boy Scout leaders, Girl Scout leaders. And now the young people don't respect you in any mammal animal kingdom. I've seen it even on the nature shows, the seals going over to the whale breathing hole on the ice. Killer whales are hunting and eating them. The mom barks at him, comes over, nudges him away, goes over a second time. She comes over and really barks at him and nibbles on him a little, just kind of starts to bite him. And it's the same instinct. She does it further down his hindquarter, away from the eyes. Don't want to hurt the baby seal. She's trying to keep him from being killed. Seal goes over again to where the killer whale's at. Mama has seen hundreds of fellow seals eaten. She knows the baby's instincts haven't kicked in yet. She walks over with her teeth, bites him. He howls in anger like a spoiled eight-year-old, hops away with blood dripping out of his tail. I have seen when I'm in a deer blind, and fawns, baby deer that are almost grown up, almost leaving their mother, run out. But she smells something. She comes out, gets in front of them, tries to push them back in. They don't listen. You know what she does? I've seen both. She reaches over and bites them on the back. They kick and get angry, but then run off in the woods. Or she'll, I've seen them turn around and kick them. Look. I smell a predator. You're about to get killed. Oh, but see, the liberals would say, walk right on out there. Now, I'm not planning to shoot that little deer. The point is, is I'm waiting for the big buck to come out. But she smells 
the smell of the creature that she knows kills deer. And so she's going to do whatever she can. When, when the fawn was little, she'd tell it, lay down while I go out here and eat. I'll come back and give you some milk. And the little fawns, their little spots lay down. But they start getting bigger, and it's almost time for them to be on their own. But still, it hadn't learned the lesson. She's taught them, so she bites them. Now, does CPS need to land in helicopters and fire curare knockout darts uh, into the, the, the doe, the female deer, and take those little, those little fawn to a safe, secure location? Why don't we send CPS to the Arctic where, where, where seals? Um, I've, seen, I've seen this everywhere in the animal kingdom. This is what goes on. It's always the same. The parent who created the creature has an instinct to want to protect them that gives them sustenance, tries to nudge them the first time. Then bark at them the next time. And next time, okay, you are about to get killed. I'm going to have to apply some pain now because you aren't listening to me. So you let children run wild and then they go out into the world and are absolute animals and they end up in the penitentiary locked up in a little cell. What's the greater abuse? It's not abuse. The system doesn't want you to be a parent. And now the state of Texas passed a law. These legislators are so stupid. They, a lot of them aren't even evil. They're dumb. Because it's, it's common law and penal code for hundreds of years in this country that when someone turns their child over to the school, they are now the guardian. And I know I'm belaboring this, spending a lot of time, but it's a big issue. And so the state tries to pass a law saying that schools can spank children because it's out of control. And because parents are saying, I can't spank, so why are you? You can spank, you idiots. So they pass a law saying now the parents have to give the approval. The parents give the approval when you put them in that school, if you don't like what's going on in the school, you shouldn't put them there. Do you understand that's common law? When you turn custody of a minor who does not have the rights of an adult and is not a sovereign, that's why they don't get as big a prison sentences, because the, the courts and common sense and common law says they don't know any better. Who is liable? Their guardian whether it's a police officer or a school teacher or the parent. And you are the final guardian of your children. You are the executor. You are the trust holder. And so they told you, don't tell your kids what to do. Let them be themselves. Dr. Spock and all that stuff. Best-selling author, sold more than the Bible for 10 years. Back in the 60s. They said, let your children be themselves. Oh, really, who, who are you? You are the instincts and culture of survival passed on for tens of thousands of years by your ancestors and everything they pass down to you. And they're saying, don't pass anything on. Let the television pass it on. Let the school pass it on. Let the system pass it on. Don't tell your children what to think or what to do or any lessons you've learned. Let them be themselves. Turn them loose. Don't discipline them. Treat them like they're an adult. Let children sue their parents. And that's so the state and the social engineers can come in and take control of your children. It's that simple. It's very elementary. And some children don't need to be disciplined. Others do. The point is, now they think they passed a law letting schools spank children. And instead, it just restricted common law. Just like they were saying, we're going to pass a law that TSA can't grab your genitals. It's already on the books. That's why a cop can't do it without a warrant. That's why an FBI agent can't do it. It's why they never have done it. They just set up a new body, tell them they can do it, get you in a herded uh, group psychology system like an airport, 
and more, more, more. That's a social engineering laboratory, and the system admits it. So the state then finally takes our good bill, saying we're going to enforce the law, but it was never needed to begin with, just enforce the law. These lawmakers think that everything they need isn't already there, so they always just pass something new. And because they're not sophisticated, Rick Perry comes in and has it changed to say, okay, all police now can stick their hands down your pants without a warrant. And then we said, we now have to remove support for this bill. See, it's all hoaxes and, 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 and bait and switches and shell games and scams. Now, it gets worse. In thousands of school districts, last time I checked it was the majority, and there's 20-something thousand school districts plus in the country, but in, in, in a large portion of them, first it's no dodgeball, then it's no tag, then it's no wrestling, then at many schools, you can pull this up, schools ban jogging at recess, schools ban shaking hands at recess, and now the teachers aren't allowed to touch them or talk to them, Oh, Billy just uh, shook hands with with Bobby. Uh, I'm going to call the police. And the cop shows up and writes you a ticket. So they're taking all authority away from the people and the common law, then the teachers, and now a new phenomenon. They're going to begin taking, this is the UN model, the authority away from the police and transferring it only to special paramilitary units, which are federally controlled. Oh, yes, this is next. It's what they're attempting. And so the cops can't do anything either under their common law, citizens arrest, citizens power of self-defense and to stop crime. That's what police operate under. We just create cities, incorporate them, and then, and then vote and hire representatives to handle it for us because we're busy. But pretty soon they try to become the boss. So they're, that's how they're taking the power from the states, the counties. Everybody, that's how this this movement of power towards a centralized system, and take the big psychiatric boards all coming out and saying we're against any form of discipline, any form of corporal punishment. Even now they're saying take kids if you yell at them. Well, well, notice they're the groups that want to get your kid once they're out of control and put them on mind-altering drugs, Ritalin, Prozac, things that cause all sorts of health problems and uh, heart attacks, I mean, uh, suicides. It's a cult of power and control taking over. And remember, they're taking children every day because the, somebody saw them being spanked in their backyard. You know, Billy hits Jenny, bloodies her nose. Dad goes, that's it, Junior, you little. Oh, uh-uh. CPS is a coming. And they take you into a fake court where it's just a judge, not a jury. You don't know it goes back to a eugenics court that used to sterilize people that Hitler got his model from. And they take your child away into the system where they're five times more likely to be abused than in any other place. How are they arresting people for filming police in public? A big uh, court just struck it down again today. Cops aren't going to stop arresting you for that. They've been told, go ahead and do it. We're just going to do it. We don't care. How do they take children when you don't inoculate them? Happens all the time. Because they get Ignorant parents that get in there scared of the judge and go, I thought I didn't have to. The judge goes, I'm taking them forever unless you sign this order admitting that you've been derelict. And then they let you have your kids for about a week or maybe a month and then claim you violated that agreement. They get you to contract out your rights. So they've got all this figured out. It's all fraud. It's all bamboozling. So I hear these adults calling into the radio saying, how's the government spank you? But parents can't. Parents, you don't know your rights. You don't know the law. You need to learn it or pay. If you drive. Okay, we are back live, and I have just digressed off into the issue of corporal punishment. But this is an issue that I don't know anybody else is discussing, and that's the fact that the globalist system is for the hoax, by the hoax, of the hoax. It's all about fraud. Just like they created 100 years ago now, these fake family courts that are outside the Constitution Bill of Rights. They created the World Trade Organization in 1995 that our Congress has signed its authority over to. They created the UN in 1945, 46, officially. Now, it orders Obama to launch a war. He does. Congress says, hey, you're not supposed to do that. And he says, I'll do whatever I want. 
it, it's it, it's about power grabs, and then it's a hoax that they have the right or the authority to do this. It's like Rick Perry uh, four years ago said, it's the law, all girls in Texas will take this shot, 12 and under, I am the governor, it is the law. And women lined up everywhere, paid almost $500 for the three shots, and said the governor says it's the law. Kind of like I had the state attorney on, I don't know, four years ago. It was all over the national news. Um, you probably remember it, and it showed in Maryland, in Baltimore, the school, in quote, 2,000 parents and students lined up with police dogs barking, riot police, and it was judge orders parents to inoculate children. And I got the state attorney on, and I said, sir, uh, you know, here's your code. There, there's no law to, to take these shots. I said, so you know, this was basically all just a hoax. And he laughed and said, yeah, you're right. And he said, I don't vaccinate my kids. But he was there overseeing, and he started laughing like, like it's funny or, or something. I've seen the police on the news all over the country where they arrest people for filming them in public. And then when it gets struck down in court later, or the person even goes to jail, people say, but this isn't against the law, and they just laugh about it. It's like, hey, we just sent some innocent people to jail. Hey, we just got up here and lied to people and said, and CNN was up there saying, it's the law. Judge orders shots in Maryland, starting in Baltimore. 1,500 students and their parents, over 2,000 people. And it was crying parents, I don't like the shots. I think they make my kids sick, but I got to be here. It was mainly inner city people who the system preys on. And I'd play the clips, and I had guests on, and I was on air, and I'd, I'd try to, I got some of the parents on. I'd say, you don't have to take it. I know, Mr. Jones, but they say they're coming to arrest me. And I said, no. The school is going to kick your child out for truancy. And they're like, yes, that's what they say. Then they're going to trigger a law for that. But they can't order you out of school for not taking a shot when it's not the law. It's only their policy. And, and they'd go, so they're lying? Yes, there's a waiver in their desk at the nurse's office. You've got to demand it. But it's not a law. I know. You don't have to do that. But if you want to just prove to yourself, and somebody would call back and say, they gave me the waiver. They got mad, but they first they lied. Yes, they lie. They lie. They lie. They take baby's blood at birth for almost 40 years worldwide, except a few countries that globalists don't control. And tell you it's for a blood test. When it's not, it goes in a DNA database. That's now admitted. You know, I said I'd make this announcement about PrisonPlanet.tv, but I'll, I'll just do it later uh, in the next hour. Uh, we will be live tonight at PrisonPlanet.tv, 7 o'clock, and live tomorrow night. We're off Monday, uh, but uh, every weeknight, 7 o'clock. Most nights it'll be 30 minutes. Other nights it'll be an expanded special report, sometimes several hours long. Sometimes taped, sometimes live. Uh, but it's all coming up, and I've got some important announcements about some new functions and features uh, at PrisonPlanet.tv. Stay with us.